This is the solution to written homework 60. Okay, so then according to the calculator, just typing that in, 4.97 times the log of 1.05 is 0.242487 dot 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 so to four places past the decimal that's 0 0.2425 okay part b using differentials okay so i'll use the I'll use z uh, is equal to x times the natural log of y. Then the differential is uh, dz uh, is equal to this thing x log y, the x partial of that, dx, and then plus this thing, x log y, the y partial of that, dy. So dz is the natural log of y, dx, plus x over y dy. So that's the differential. We'll estimate delta z uh, starting at starting at x y is 5 for x and 1 for y and we'll do this with delta x delta y equal to so then since we're starting at 5 and we're going to go to the left that means that delta x is negative 0 0.03 that would get us to 4.97 and then since we're starting at 1 and we need to get to 1.05 that means that delta y is 0 0.05 so delta z is approximately the natural log of uh, 1 so natural log of 1 times delta x which is negative 0 0.03 plus x over y so that would be 5 over 1 times delta y which is 0 0.05 so delta z is well that's the log of 1 is 0 so multiplied by negative 0 0.03 plus, well, 5 times that is 0 0.25. So delta z, according to this, is approximately 0 0.25. So our estimate for the new value, z plus delta z, that is approximately, um, <clears throat> if we plug in uh, x is 5, so 5 times the log of 1, so that's the z value, and then plus 0 0.25, so that's the original z and that's the change in z, z plus delta z, is approximately, well, that's 0 
of 0 0.25, so z plus delta z is approximately 0 0.25. So that's the answer to uh, part b. And of course, we can write 0 0.250 0. zero. Okay, and these numbers are fairly close. Oops. So these are close. 